what her and I are going through is very hard. And I'm going to do my best to make bodybuilding my priority, make training my priority, make my clients my priority, make the gym and everything I want to do. I just want to feel good and feel happy. I wish this could be smelled by other people. It's very good. Not that. All right, guys. So this is what I'm having to make sure I don't lose more weight. And I'm going <laughs> to... And I'm going to try this for you. Oreo, 200 calories. Here we go. It's very good, and the ice cream tastes kind of like the center of the Oreo, so it's pretty damn good. Wow. Whoa. Are there multiples in here? I think uh -huh. it's just melted. Well, it's kind of a letdown, but... Mm. Yum. They're both good. This is a little more epic, though. Alright boys and girls, we are back at MIG, finally on the bench, we got 155 on the bar, this is 165, this is 155, and the hardest part about benching with this wrist is that I can't do this at all, so I have to bench with a straight arm, so it kind of feels like the bar is going to kind of fall away from me and I can't load back too much, so it's tough and it makes it feel heavier, and I have a tiny bit of pain right here, especially if I let it go back, so let's see how this goes and we're going to try to go up and wait, set number one. All right guys, what's good? Still rocking the wrist brace, but this push session was actually two push sessions ago. So I just got home from the gym, a little sweaty. I just benched with Kayla. We had a full upper session, and this is our upper session from the last time I went to the gym. Yes, I hit a push day, and I took a few days off, didn't train legs like I should have, even though my legs were sore, so it's no big deal. And the wrist feels so much better that I was like, you know what, let's do a full upper body day and that way our volume will be higher instead of just doing push or pull. And as I get stronger fully, I'll go back into just push days and all that type of stuff. But again, this was two bench sessions ago and good news is I am improved. So here in this session, uh, went to the iPhone here, was doing 185 and I went up to sets a little bit heavier and today even a little bit better. So we're at like 60%, maybe 70, which is great because last time I checked it with you guys, it felt like 40-ish, so this is much better. All right guys, set number three. We're gonna see how this shit holds up. No additional pain, but uh, it doesn't feel great. So I'm gonna make this as heavy as possible with as big of a range of motion as possible. So normally I can do this with much more weight, but we're gonna make this hard. Do more work. So yeah guys, this video, honestly, if you stay tuned till the end, is gonna be a life update. Really, really filling you guys in into what's going on because it's definitely a drastic change it's upcoming and i have a lot to get done before it happens and some personal things to deal with so no complaints but a lot to get done caught a set for the gram already with 205 follow me if you're not following me already but i'm gonna try to post it a little bit more since youtube sucks now we'll see where we go but the first set was clean so i should hit another set hopefully the wrist holds up rest of the workout guys was pretty simple finished up with benching and then just did the rest of what I can for a push day if you guys are dealing with wrist injuries or hand injuries maybe you won't be able to bench as heavy as I am if you're super injured but I recommend definitely working shoulders definitely working flies you can grip the chest fly which I gripped today actually and I didn't even this day you can grip the chest fly right here or a pec deck right here and I'm not a proponent of chest flies at all but look at my chest working here for real if you look at my chest here, starting with my arms straight, keeping my shoulders low and closing like this, it's honestly massive, uh, massive amount of recruitment. So as a primary mover, these types of isolations where you're on machines or you can vary your range of motion like crazy at whim, they're really not a good idea. Once you have a compound movement that you can work in a full range of motion, a full healthy range of motion, your body and your muscular system, your neuromuscular system will let you know what your range is. So if I bench here every day, when I take my chest fly back to here, I could already feel, I could just bring my hands in and be on bench. If I'm overstretching it, I'm aware of that too. And there's nothing wrong with that. The problem is, is when you take something that's too heavy for you and you somehow end up past your normal compound movement range of motion, that is when you're gonna snap your shit up. Or if you're chopping off range of motion but increasing the weight to something that you cannot perform, with a full range of motion. So it all comes down to the ego, guys. And I definitely wanna talk about ego lifting versus heavy lifting, because there's a complete difference. 
and maybe we'll get to that in the next voiceover. But let me guys or let me know what kind of comments you guys want to see or what kind of voiceovers you want to see rather, and I'll try to do my best. But again, we're just coming back from the wrist, curling, press downs, one arm overhead. I got really lucky, guys. So next time it's raining, or in your case, if you guys are up north, snowing, watch your damn step. Because all I did was take a wrong step, and a dog went one way, and my face went the opposite direction. And luckily, my hand saved my life, but it kind of messed up my lifting, which made this week even harder, because it definitely has been a week um, of stress for me, extreme stress. Definitely not um, a fun week dealing what I have to deal with and I'll get into that right after this workout which will be extremely shortly. So thank you guys for tuning in. Keep your training up and visit me and follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Give it a like, subscribe, share. Just stay tuned and I'll do my best to bring you guys some real shit. So I'll check in with you guys in literally two seconds. Good. Ah! All right, guys, what's going on? I'm not lying, just trained. I was drinking a shake, but I finished it. <clears throat> just got back from training, sweaty shirt. Kayla and I just did a full upper body session, which you guys will see soon. I know it's been a while. You guys are watching this Saturday. In the next few minutes, I'm gonna try not to ramble. I'm gonna let you guys know what's been going on, where I'm going, when I'm going, and yeah, let's get started. The past couple days has been really hard. I never have talked about a relationship on YouTube yet but I am moving away from Kayla, and long story short, we have a lot to decide on whether she may end up where I am or somewhere closer, because I'm leaving the East Coast, and that's really the only thing that's planned. What I can tell you guys is that when you find yourself in a position where you aren't happy, when you're not being your best like I'm in, you need to get out. And as hard as it is to leave her, as hard as it is to leave my comfort zone here, I do not like Miami. I don't really like the people. Some of the people that I've come across and I'm tired of my routine here and I don't see job opportunities as opportunities here. I see them as like prison. I'd like to go somewhere where I can feel like I can be myself. And that's why I'm leaving because I can't really be myself here. I've kind of exhausted what I wanted to get out of this city and I'm really no longer interested. I've worked downtown, I've gone to FIU, I've moved to Tampa, I graduated, I've worked at LA Fitness, I've done my own personal training online, I've done YouTube, I've done a few things and it's just not fun to do it here anymore. So that's kind of the big announcement. I'm getting out of here soon, uh, probably in the next week or so. Movers are already coming, but anyways, uh, but anyways, I have been in my this week because this move has been really hard on Kayla and I. We've had to bring up a lot of memories. We've had to rehash a lot of things to see what the future holds for us. And all I want to tell you guys is that the most important thing I've found for me, and sometimes it doesn't even help that much, but to make me feel like I'm doing my best is to be honest, to communicate, and to always express how you're feeling. And if the other person rejects that expression of your feeling or your emotion, it's probably not gonna work. It really, really needs to be a back and forth, how are you doing, how are you doing, how are you feeling, how are you feeling type of scenario. And if one person's taking too much and not investing, I'm not saying get out, but it needs to be talked about. And at some point in our relationship, I was investing a lot and I feel like I was, you know, getting too many withdrawals on her end. And that's normal, guys. It's just gonna happen. So. Watch your own backs and try to keep those close to you that support you. And I'm gonna take you guys along every step of the way on this move because there's no more speed bumps, there's no more hiccups, there's no more rehashing things and having to take personal time. I really wanna do this for myself, for you guys, and hopefully me moving on and getting to where I wanna be can help you guys do the same thing. It's not, it's not gonna be easy, it's not gonna be fun the whole time, it's a lot of work and it's gonna cost a lot of money, but once I've done it and made the investment, I think the sky's the limit. So if anyone is watching this, like this video, go to my Instagram and follow me, like my shit if you like it, and let me know what you wanna see, because I'm here for you guys. Just like you guys have been here for me through so many hard times, and I really wanted to mention that what her and I are going through is very hard, and I'm gonna do my best to make bodybuilding my priority, make training my priority, make my clients my priority, make the gym and everything I wanna do, I just wanna feel good and feel happy. And I really encourage you guys to do the same. And I just wish you all the best of luck because it's scary and it's not easy. So I hope to see you guys ASAP and I'm gonna do my best to do so. So catch me on the gram, peace. Thanks guys.